Hey there, high fashion doll lovers. My name is Christopher y bienvenidos to my channel. In today's video, I will be reacting, reviewing, and restyling Night Out Erin, the latest basic doll being introduced by Integrity Toys. Now, before I get into today's video, if you are a fashion doll lover like I am, please consider hitting the subscribe button so you can get notified whenever I have a new video. Now, let's get into today's video, shall we? So before I unbox and react to the beautiful and stunning Erin, I am so excited about her. Like, she is fresh off of the mailbox. Well, the delivery, because she wasn't in the box. But anyways, I digress. I wanted to give my point of view on some of the other dolls that were also released. I'm going to start with Poppy. For those that have been subscribers to my channel for a while, you know, it's not a doll or a brand that I really follow on this channel, but I will say that I saw a few IRL photos of her and I love the fact that this basic poppy, they're all basic or considered at least, she has a very like modern touch to her. I don't know what it is about her but she feels very current and I will say I appreciate that about her. Following up, I'm not gonna butcher her name, the Meteor Doll. This one was hard for me because there's just something about her that looks perfection. But then there were other parts of me that made me feel like it would have been a project for me. I'm not the biggest fan of the meteor body, so I would have rebodied her at some point. And as much, okay, the eyeshadow is too heavy. And as much as I understand that she was like inspired by Cleopatra, it's not a Cleopatra doll, so I feel like maybe we could have toned it down with the blue eyeshadow. If you are a subscriber to my channel, I'm going to say it again. You know I love a good neutral palette, and that eyeshadow is just a little dated, if I may say so myself. I feel like if maybe we did like a blue line, it would have been a really nice touch, but the eyeshadow is going literally up to her eyebrows, and this like lip being so pale, it just didn't work but overall the braids the swimsuit the wedges it's just a beautiful look and i must say out of all the dolls she is the one that i considered the most but again decided to pass now last but not least natalia i liked the presentation However, she reminded me too much of the Natalia that I already have, which I will put the comparisons here of the Natalia that I have and the Natalia that was just released. I'm currently getting my Natalia repainted with red lips because I feel like this photo made me feel like that could be something that my girl was missing. Um, but what I really wanted to talk about with Natalia was, I feel like she was another perfect opportunity for an accessory pack. As we already know, Jesse Ayala has mentioned it when he did the presentation of the Upgrade Dolls. He is currently in this phase of moments, of revisiting moments that meant something to him. The swimsuit, as we already know, is from Ocean Drive, a very iconic Agnes in our collection. And I feel that with her being in the swimsuit and having such a basic presentation, it would have been nice to give her the accessory pack with, let's say, a wrap skirt, a big hat, a beach bag, another set of shoes. And I feel like I would have not thought about that if Erin didn't have an accessory pack to complete her. Because I love the Erin dress. I loved it when it was on Lilith, I remember, but I hated the color palette. So when I saw this Erin in this dress and then I saw the accessory pack, I was immediately sold because it was a design that I loved. And this is a color palette that I consider more up my alley. So with Natalia, I feel like the appeal could have been a little bit more if she would have had an accessory pack as well because we know this swimsuit. And this swimsuit was a part of a gift set and that gift set, that swimsuit had a wrap and a lot of jewelry. So I feel like it was, I don't wanna say a missed opportunity, but maybe a window we can give to the future for more basics. I love the idea of accessory packs. I just love the idea of breaking it down for some people. I've heard some people that didn't love it. I'm not one of them. I listen. I am a stylist at my core. So whenever you give me extra props, I'm beyond happy. 
So, I am beyond happy. Now, without further ado, I have spoken about the other girls. Let's focus on the main attraction of today's video. Miss Erin is here. Okay, so both doll and accessory are in the same box, which I currently have upside down. I only know that because of the back. I know this is the doll because it has more weight to it. And this is the accessory pack. So we'll leave this one for a second. Or should I put this one first? You know what? No, no, no. Let me react to the accessory pack first. And the reason why I want to react to it is because this is a first for me. I think this is the first time I've gotten an accessory pack from Integrity Toys. Um, oh, that is a lie. I got the Style Lab at a convention once when it was Fashion Royalty. And that set had, obviously, outfits and accessory packs. So it's not my first, but it feels like my first. And I really saw the bow. OMG, why did this make me so happy? <sighs> love, love, love the fact that we were given the option to buy something that can add to the look or create a new look as it is. So this is what it looks like in the packaging. It's in this like pale pink box that as you can see I, I had to slide out. Um, we have the Jewelry up here with the hair bow, an extra pair of hands, the bow for the dress, stockings, an extra pair of shoes, gloves, which I've just learned from someone on Instagram are velvet gloves. I couldn't see that in the original photo, and I love that they're velvet because I was going to say everybody had too many black gloves, but I don't have velvet black gloves, <laughs> and that changes the game. And the purse over here, which I love, is a pop of color. Jesse's been doing this a lot, and I appreciate that of him. Where, like, if the look is this very neutral palette, the bag is a pop. And again, when you are reimagining looks and restyling, it's so much fun to have a bag that's a pop of color. So, strongly appreciate that from Jesse. I will unbox this off camera, but we will be taking a closer look at all of those details. Now, on to the main attraction of today's video and I'm trying to contain myself. I'm trying to contain myself. You know, I've heard a lot back and forth from her, but I think this was one of the most recent dolls. That was an immediate yes from the moment I saw the photo. Like there was just no doubt in my mind she needed to be in my collection. This box makes reacting a little harder because I have to slide her out. And I know that I feel like I'm doing the head first. I stopped as I was talking to you. I'm trying my best to like not look at it so I can give you like the most authentic reaction. Oh, there goes the certificate. It's a little bent, but we cut it out. I'm trying really hard. <laughs> my hand is even covering her face. Oh, the dress looks amazing in this color. Okay, great, great, great. Get over it, Christopher. Get over it. Just look at it. 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 I don't have a viewfinder, so apologies if it's not angled correctly. You will see her up close and personal later in this video. This was just a quick moment so you knew what I was looking at and... I also want to say, really quickly, I thank you, Integrity Toys, if you're watching. Hi. Hi there. Thank you for making this launch when they were available. You know, we live in a day and age where the wait period seems to have gotten longer than it used to be. And although some of us are used to that format, things happen in our lives and we kind of just want joy. And this just, uh, it's like hitting the heartstrings. Cause I feel like I needed this and I didn't think I needed it until I have it in my hand. 
I'm just so. Okay. All right. All right. I'm putting myself together. I'm putting myself together. I swear I am. All right. So for those that are new here, I usually don't have all of these feelings in my videos. This is a rare occasion. It happens sometimes. It's just rare. I will unbox her off camera. I like to do that on my own time so you don't have to stress with me because there's a lot of strings and ribbons. You don't want to watch the drama. But let me let you know what's happening. I will unbox. We will be looking at her items next. Get a closer look at everything that she came with. And obviously the accessory pack she did not that I worked on the side. Then we will take a look at what her basic look is and then the accessorized looks. And last but not least, a restyle. Just so we can see what else she looks good in because uh, homegirl here has an iconic screening. So without further ado, let's get on to the next section, shall we? Okay, now let's take a look at all the fabulous items that came with the accessory pack, mostly. Um, because the doll only came with one set of hands that she had on, the shoes, and the dress. So I should probably start there. I'm going to start with the hands so we can see the difference in the manicures. This is the set that she came with. So the nail color matches the lip. And uh, this is the set that came with the accessory pack that has this like jeweled kind of look at the at the tip of it. Let me see if I turn on my flash. If it would be a little bit brighter. Oh, uh, no, it's about the same. But you can also see the butterfly ring on this hand. Just so you get a look at it. I feel like the butterfly ring is also a moment. Because it came with a look from the convention in 2019. I have the ring. I'm just trying to remember where it came from. But those are the hands. I will agree with a friend of mine that it would have been nice to get the hand that like are gripping as the alternate hands. Because at the end of the day we got two sets of hands that have the same mold just with different nail finishes. Um, so that would have been nice, but I'm sure this is a skin tone I have variations of, so I'll be okay. Guys, guys, the shoes. I love these shoes. I love the heel at the bottom. I love a good, um, wow, the name of the shoe is not coming to me. Slim back. Sling back. Sling back. Wow. Pronunciation. Horrible. I also love the fact that we are getting to see the shoe without the diamond buckle that we have seen recently with the orange shoe. The orange shoe that looks exactly like the shoe. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's not even focusing. But love that we get it in black. This one feels a little bit longer in the front, which is just, ah. Uh, Ooh. I'm going to use this shoe a lot, so I hope it withstands the test of time because it is going to be getting used. Love it. I love a good, simple shoe. I was going to say pump, but that's not really a pump. I'm going to move right onto the bag. I'm like starting over here. I think this is the first time we've seen this design. The blue on camera, well, it's looking pretty sky blue. I've seen it in some photos and I thought it looked more like the Tiffany blue, but it's not. Something that I love about the bag is that it's introducing pearls. This look has a lot of different textures and I really appreciate that, you know? She has the diamond in her necklace and the ears. We see the pearls in the bag. There's velvet in the gloves. There's satin in the bow. There is sequins on the dress. There's so many different like textures that really give the look a lot of definition. And that's something that, you know, integrity is great at. The look is never going to be fully flat because you're always going to get all these beautiful materials mixed together. And this look is a perfect example of that. Like here with the stockings, it's not just a regular skin tone stocking. We're getting something a little edgier, a little bit more risque, a little rock and roll, if I may say so myself. And love that idea. I love that we're taking something that looks so classic and elegant and we're mixing it up and making it a little bit edgy. Here is the dress, which, if you don't know, it is a design from Issa Laurent. Um, someone on Instagram did the homework for us. Shout outs to the people on Instagram that do all the fashion homework to find out where the designs come from. 
you helped me out a lot. And what I love about the dress being in black with the white satin is that it resembles the original design a little bit more. So it's so much more like high end, so much more in vogue. And I am in love. I don't know if I'm going to use the dress as much as I want to because sequence is hard and you don't want it to like mess up over time. But uh, love, love, love this dress. Here is the bow that came as a separate item. Um, mine, oh, it, looks, it looks good on camera, but mine is a little dirty because it, she was wearing the gloves just now as I was testing things out. And it is hard to find the hook. You're probably never gonna see it on camera. Oh, I think it's there. Did I find it? No. It's in there somewhere and I was able to do it earlier because I was testing things out and it's beautiful. It really is. And you're, you guys are going to get a look at it soon. I'm over here talking about it. Like, I'm not going to show it to you. I'm obviously going to show it to you. Like, what kind of video would this be if I didn't? These shoes were a pleasant surprise. First of all, my first pair of this, like, platform, thick heel. Love it. And as I mentioned at the top of the video... When I saw this doll, she was an automatic yes to me. So I didn't notice that the shoes had like these little diamond details. And it has a little diamond hanging at the end. So that was a pleasant surprise for me because I just didn't see it in the email. I'm sure others probably did. But I was, again, so excited that I was like, just give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me now. So little details that I didn't notice. And I hope others did. And if you didn't, here it is. Just a little diamond on both on the side there and uh diamonds in the strap by the way i love this shoe i can't wait to try it on without the stockings um because i just love the look of it it's like the sick mary jane it's just such it's so in right now that i'm so happy my girls are having them in a miniature scale just great and i don't know if you're gonna be able to see it on camera but the gloves are velvet the hands have flocking on them now, because it is velvet, please remember to take good care of them when storing them. And please remember not to keep them on the doll for the long time. Again, I was testing the lookout. Some of the velvet already fell on like the satin bow. So you have to like make sure to dust things off and um, really take a lot of good care of them. Because as great it is to have a different kind of glove, care is important, especially with materials that aren't really often found in miniature scale, but we love them. We just really do. And before we go and, you know, take a look at this outfit all put together, I want to give you a close-up of Erin's beautiful screening because look at that. Look at that. I also left the necklace and the bow in her hair so you can see it on. I feel like items that are this small look better on the doll than on the table. But look at that screening. What I'm really loving about Jesse Ayala recently is these nude lips. They are so in trend. They are just... The artwork that probably has to go to finding the right color, I don't even want to know. Because I'm sure it was complicated. But, oh, stunning. Her eyes are like... A mint green, like it's a light blue. Ugh. I'm telling you, this face and also the hair color. It looks a little darker on camera. It's like a really deep, it's not even red. I feel like in the photos it looks red, but it's more like a, a, a mahogany brown. It's absolutely stunning. Ugh. Yeah, I could stay here all day. She obviously has a pair of panties. Any girl that comes with a dress at Integrity has them. She's not wearing the hands, obviously, but... Ah, oh, just a beauty. Okay, girl. Let's see what the fashions look on you, shall we?